In this video, I'm going to show you something I never knew existed. But let me back up for a second. In February of this year, where I live in Texas experienced a major series of power outages and rolling blackouts due to historically severe winter weather. My home was without power for the majority of three days, in some of the coldest temperatures on record. My family and I were fine thanks to a small inverter generator we had and some space heaters, but many people weren't so lucky and had pipes burst and were forced to leave their homes. So I promised myself after the crisis was over that this would never happen to me and my family again. So about six months ago, I got a good deal on a much larger generator and posted a review video on it. You can check that video out in the link in the top right of your screen. But the generator would be useless without a way to connect it to my home. I knew that there were rules and laws about connecting a generator to a house's electrical system. This is mainly to protect power line workers, called linemen, from being electrocuted if you backfeed the power grid with power from your generator. So you're required to have a device that separates your home from the power grid. I already knew that the usual way to accomplish this was with a manual or automatic transfer switch. But automatic transfer switches are very expensive. And even if you go with a cheaper manual transfer switch, you still have to pay to have it installed by a licensed electrician. Yeah, you could do it yourself, but for liability purposes, this is a job that's better left to a licensed and insured professional. So as I was shopping for a manual transfer switch, I ran into a much cheaper and easier product that I didn't even know existed before. It's called a generator interlock kit. An interlock kit is a simple piece of metal that's custom fit to a specific brand and model of load center or breaker box. It fits over top of the breakers in a way that prevents you from being able to turn on the generator input connection and the power grid connection to the house at the same time. It physically blocks you from accidentally leaving the grid power connected in a power outage. And the best part is they're very cheap and can be easily installed without cutting any holes in the wall or running any additional wires. Obviously, you still need to add a separate circuit for the input connection from the generator. I hired an electrician to do that for me, but the job's very simple. In my case, my generator can provide 50 amps of 240 volt AC electricity. So we added a 50 amp breaker to the load center where it says AC unit and moved all the other breakers up one slot. Then we drilled a hole to the outside of the house and ran 6 gauge Romex to a bell box on the outside of the house right behind where the load center is installed. Then a 50 amp generator inlet like this one was installed outside the house. To complete the project, I purchased an extremely expensive 50 foot, 50 amp generator cable. I needed this cable so that I could safely run the generator in my backyard behind the fence, so I don't have to leave my expensive generator unprotected in my front yard in a grid down scenario. With everything installed, I tested the system out and was able to successfully turn on several critical circuits in my house with the generator running. So there you go. I'm sure there are lots of people out there that want a backup power option, but get scared off by the high costs of creating a generator connection to a house. There are definitely corners that you don't want to cut with something like this. But with a generator interlock kit, you can save a ton of money and accomplish the same thing as a transfer switch. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to leave a thumbs up and comment and let me know what you think.